So the next step, uh, I'm just going to build off what we learned last time. Uh, we're going to learn h1 tag, h2 tag, h3 tag, paragraph tag, uh, the break tag, and the horizontal rule tag. And so uh, this is basically what we're going to end up with today. But I'm gonna, we're going to just uh, do what we learned last time and then build on that. So uh, we learned last time you, you open the HTML tag and then you close the HTML tag. Um, and then you, uh, you always have a header tag and then you close that. So we're not going to be using that today. And then we have the body, which is where we're going to be working today. Um, so I'm going to save, uh, I'm going to type a couple of things this in my website. So this is what we uh, ended up with last time. We went over a couple of things. So I'm going to save this. And uh, this is what we ended up with last time. You right click and view the source. Uh, this is all the code here. And so, uh, is the H1 tag. And uh, the H1 tag is used for, for titles, really. Um, when you want to put a title on your paragraph or your text inside of, uh, inside of, your website, um, you put it inside of H1 or H2 H3 tag. I'll, I'll let you know the difference between those in a minute. And then uh, the paragraph uh, is just some random text I copied. And then uh, the paragraph tag is where all your just normal text goes. Um, um, the difference between a paragraph tag and then if we had no tag is uh, one, you can style the paragraph tags um, by calling the paragraph, and two, once you open a paragraph tag and then close it, whatever's inside it automatically puts a space at the end. Um, so let's just see how this looks like. Uh, so this is my website. This is the H1 tag. Look, look how nice that looks at the top. Um, as a title, put an H1 tag and it makes it bigger. Um, later we'll learn, in uh, other tutorials, we'll learn how to customize how exactly this comes out. If you want a blue, if you want a bigger, smaller, different font, all those sorts of things. And then uh, here's in the paragraph tag, uh, or the text here. Um, so moving along, like let, uh, for instance, let's see the difference between the H1 tag and then the H2 tag. And then the H3 tag. There you go, this is the H1, the H2, and the H3. Now, uh, different ways you can use these is, uh, you know, this is the main heading of your website, and then you have a little introduction, and then you have, like, subcategories, and so you want it a little smaller, uh, and so you do that. And also, this is, uh, as far as uh, uh, importance goes with uh, Google and SEO, search engine optimization, um, Google looks a lot at these tags here, to see, uh, you know, what your web page is about, because it uses a bunch of robots. So uh, generally, your what your website's going to be about is going to be in here, because that's uh, uh, some sort of title for what or a summer or a summary or a synopsis of what is inside of uh, this website and web page. So these carry a little bit of weight in the SEO. Uh, the H1 tag carries the most, then H2, then H3, and so forth and so on. Another thing that carries a little bit of weight and something that we're going to learn is uh, the, uh, to make stuff bold. To make a certain amount of text bold, you put just a, a, a selected amount of text inside a strong tag. And uh, what that will do is make, is make uh, that, that bit of text bold, um, which also carries a little bit of weight in SEO. Uh, very little, but it does carry a little bit of weight. So if you want uh, your keywords, uh, you know, search and optimization is, is a very, uh, I mean, there's so much to learn about it, but there, you know, I'll throw in a few things here and there, 
as I see fit. But, uh, so, you know, as, as we're learning this, it's good to also learn best practices and, you know, why things are important. You want stuff to stand out. But on, at the same time, when you're building a website, you want to have uh, these techniques in mind because uh, they come very handy when you're optimizing your site for Google. And so uh, you want to, you know, usually put the important parts of your uh, text in, in bold. So, one, they stand out, um, and two, they carry a little weight. So if you have a specific keyword you're trying to market for, for your web page for on, on, on the search engine, so you want your page to come up for those that keyword, you pro it would probably get to put that keyword in bold. One, so it stands out so that people know what this is about. Maybe uh, uh, it's a link or something or, or something else. And then two, so uh, Google sees that. And, uh, and another uh, thing that carries a little bit of weight that is also useful is to put things in italics. And to put things in italics, it's just E-M. And so, uh, you know, that's uh, kind of a weird, it's hard, like these, some of these things, things are gonna be hard to remember. Um, there are some HTML cheat sheets, you can be taking notes, but just to know that the E-M tag, you open and close it, it will make things italic. So let's save that and look at where, oh, here it is. So it puts things on italic. Um, so we got a little bold, we got a little italic, we got H1, H2, H3. You can put these in, in, in a, uh, any amount of order uh, that you want, um, you know, and, and customize your web page how you want. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is the horizontal rule. Um, it's just the HR tag. Uh, you, you don't close it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's not really something you close. Um, I'm not really going to get into all the details of that, but just know that uh, the HR tag, you just put HR tag, and uh, and here it is. There's the uh, there's the horizontal rule, and it puts just a line, uh, a section. So you can have your title, then a horizontal rule, then your text, then a horizontal rule, then another title, and uh, so on and so forth. It makes it looks a little nicer, uh, splits it up a little better, makes things a little bit easier to read for your readers. Another thing is let's say you want um, there to be a space in between this line and this line. Um, you can do a variety of different things. One is uh, we can put them in two separate paragraphs. So if I end the paragraph right here, and then I start another paragraph, and then that ends right there. So let me save that, and then we go back in here and look at that. Now at the end of a paragraph tag, remember I said it, it skips a line and then it, it uh, uh, this is the other paragraph and then right here you can't see but technically there's a white space here so if I tapped anything else it would come down here. Now the next thing I want to show you is uh, well let's say we didn't have any paragraph tags let's say we decided uh, not to use them I don't know why you do this but there are instances when uh, paragraph tags aren't needed, and let so let's say I here it is. Okay, so um, let's say I wanted to break it right after this word right here, yeah, Egestas or whatever. Uh, let's say I wanted to uh, separate it here and make this go to the next line. So what you do is you just add a br tag and. Um, Specifically for the BR tag, you have to an, uh, end it in the forward slash. So you put the BR space forward slash. There are certain tags that, um, the, and this is kind of shorthand for, for I believe, this. Um, and also, um, this is, we're starting to get into XHTM, and HTM, XHTML, which is a, a little... Uh, different. I'm not going to get into the details once again, but we're just learning basic HTML. Just know that uh, this um, separates the line, so uh, without complicating things further, just for, it's a good practice just to, if you want to skip a line, just type that exact thing. It's good to take notes if you guys uh, aren't. Um, oh, let me save it, so let me save it, and back here as so you see it skipped a line um, now what let's say I want not only do I want it to skip a line but I, I want there to be a, a empty line in between so you can continually add more and more 
of these BR tanks. So let's save this. Let's go back. Refresh. Boom. Another line. Boom. Save. Another line. And you can just keep on doing that. You can separate things however you'd like. Uh, you can do that via the BR tag. If you want to break up paragraphs, or you can, uh, if you just want to break up text and just skip a line, um, or you can just put it in, in uh, put them in the paragraph tag. Um, I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Uh, next time, I'm thinking of going over uh, maybe linking or uh, basic CSS, or just even just go deeper into HTML. Um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, put it in the comments. I uh, I follow this pretty carefully. And if you guys want to learn anything specific, just let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.